what is going on y'all so my beard is a little better today <laughs> um yesterday when i was doing i had just woken up and i just kind of brushed my teeth and rolled out of bed um and i have my hoodie on again because you know the sun don't want to get burnt um i want to talk to you guys today about something that um i actually spoke to a friend um from back in the day when I, and forgive my voice, my voice is, uh, it's weird today, this morning, I had this, like, weird, raspy thing going on, but anyway, um, I spoke to a friend, um, from, uh, New York, and, uh, hadn't spoken to him in a long, long time, and he found me on Facebook, and we, um, kind of connected again, and he was talking to me, like, just kind of bringing up old stuff that, like, I don't do anymore <laughs> like it was nice to reminisce about it but like it, it brought me to thinking about how people sometimes keep you to what they keep you held to the past keep you connected to who you used to be and not who you are it got me thinking We constantly evolve. As humans, we constantly grow every day. Learning something new, um, developing new skills. Um, just, you're not the same person you were the day before. I'm not, I was just thinking about like who Kwame is today and who I was a year from, you know, a year before or two years before or three years before um, 10 years before, you know, and I'm not the same person. And I think that because you, we get into this kind of, um, box of wanting to be these new and shiny creatures every day and, and trying to do stuff for the gram and it's, sometimes we don't take time to pause and see our growth. Sometimes we don't take time to pause and I am, you see, this happened yesterday. You know, I'm trying to, I'm, okay. I, I say all this to say because I feel like, you know, there are times when people will try to keep you in a box and people who, who knew you before, you know, and are not like, they come in and out of your life or whatever. And it's nothing against my friend, it just made me, um, made me think. Like, I don't have the same friends, I don't have the same circle of friends that I used to. I still talk to a lot of people, um, from my past, you know, when I was in the military or, um, old dance companies or, um, you know. So, in different phases of my life, you know, people have affected me and, um, help me to grow so i have to look both ways and cross the street safety first but i say all that to say because i i think it's important to kind of recognize those milestones recognize those growth moments and and also recognize those phases of life that you've had and see see that growth see that that change and it's interesting because as he was talking about or uh, mentioning certain things that kind of brought up memories of those times and how I was feeling, the sense that I was smelling, the 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 environment. It just kind of took me back. It was just very interesting because I'm not in New York anymore. I have not been to New York in a while, which I need to change because I need to go back to see it. But it's just I'm just in a different place and different mindset and it's it made, it made me think about what I was thinking and how I was thinking at that time and just how I operated it's completely different than how I operate now so I say all that because he said something that um made me think <laughs> he brought up um a um an ex of mine at the time that he knew because we were mutual friends and I actually met him or my ex, that particular ex, um, through him, and he was telling me, oh yeah, you remember him, blah, blah, and all this stuff, and I was thinking about it, I was like,
Oh yeah, <laughs> because that particular ex wasn't a, a significant person in my life, so it just it wasn't. Um, I wasn't with him long, <laughs> you know. So and, and I wasn't um, uh, really emotionally invested. I was a, I was I think I was a teen. I was a teen. But anyway, I digress. But so it just kind of brought up thoughts because he was telling me that he had spoken to him and they were having conversation on how you know on their exes and just past and just kind of reminiscing you know when people reminisce and stuff like that this is a really pretty block anyway he was telling me that they were talking and i was brought up which is what triggered him to, to want to call me um he was telling me that yeah you know um <laughs> because that he was saying just kind of negative stuff about how I operate and how I, um, or how I used to operate and how I used to kind of be cold hearted and <laughs> very much a quote unquote player type situation. I thought about it because I was just like, okay, <laughs> like whatever. Um, I'm not that person anymore. So it, it was foreign to me when he brought it up and when he was telling me what he was saying because that person is so far removed from who I am today and my heart is in a different place my mind is in a different place um, I'm just all around a different person and so I say all that to say don't let people keep you in your past don't let people try to hold you to a standard that they had or that they are accustomed to because of things that have happened in the past, release yourself. <laughs> because I'm no longer that person. I'm no longer an immature 17, 16, 17 year old who was running around, you know, um, just trying to connect with people because, just because. I feel like it's just important to kind of just be be unapologetically you. I know I did. I talked about that yesterday, being unapologetically you. But in that, in that authenticity, in that growth, realize that you give yourself a break a little bit. <laughs> you know, give yourself a moment to kind of like understand that it's okay to to not be okay, to not be your best, whatever that is. Um, because in those moments you're discovering yourself and you're kind of growing and you're I don't know it's just a lot of thoughts this morning I'm just I mean we're, we're not random thoughts but that was on my heart just kind of wanted to talk to you about just not letting the past hold you um I used to worry about like you know what exes would say or what people who I am no longer friends with would say about me um but I really don't care because I know who I am, and I know how I've operated um, in past relationships and in past friendships and what have you. And if they were worthy of being in my life, <laughs> they, I would be there, <laughs> or they would be there rather. Yeah, I just I, I just want to encourage you guys to kind of sorry the gardeners are attacking again. <laughs> it's gonna be like a thing. I feel like. These gardeners, I mean, make your coin, make your coin, but trying to have a combo. Seems to be a gardener on every block, but. Oh, but his hat's nice, though. You better rock your hat, go to straw hat, yes! Anyway, um, I say all that to say because I just want to encourage people to just kind of, you know, every day when people, when people see these, like, I go online sometimes and they see, like, all these motivational speakers and all these, like, you know, um, really cool, they think that they're, like, already at some level where they you know can't attain that they're perfect and it's not that's not the case and i feel like in order to get to your best self you have to go through your worst selves your worst selves <laughs> um there's something that i always say in my um dance classes when i teach and i always tell people every count counts and the reason why I tell people that is because as you're moving in, in, in choreography, every count, every movement that you do um, means something. 
There's a reason why the choreographer or the dance teacher has placed that dance in your, or that movement in the, the, the combination. For whatever reason, whatever artistic expression it is. Bear with me guys, because I am going to be walking through a very busy street. So, I'm trying to get my workout in. Oh, they upgraded this park? Yes, y'all better upgrade, come on. Yes, new basketball hoops. Yes, the county got a budget, yes. But anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So every there's a reason why um the dance teachers or or anybody, you know, um who's seeking choreography has those type of moments where they're expressing um they're telling people, you know, each of those steps. Those steps mean something. And it flows from each step from each movement to the next. I always tell my dancers and my students that every count counts. And it means something to me because no matter what you're going through in life, no matter, let me go down this block because it's a little less noisy. Cross the street here. Okay. No matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you um, are experiencing, each of those moments counts to your growth, to your elevation, to your next level and it's important to kind of go through all those because I feel like you know people want to get to a point where they're like oh I'm so perfect and everything's grand and they want to put all this stuff on Instagram and Facebook and and all these social medias and make it seem like their life is this you know infinite amount of of greatness and a very well very well maybe but everybody goes through stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody gets to a point where they, in order for them to get to that high level of awesomeness, <laughs> you know, you have to go through some stuff. Diamonds are not, they don't just come out of nowhere, you know? They're compressed coal. You know, they go through a lot of pressure in order to, to become those shiny, beautiful things that you see. And then even after you, you know, it's compressed and it turns into a diamond and all that pressure is there, you still have to cut it and make it all pretty for it to be presented. So there's still stuff, there's still work. You know, there's a lot of buffing, there's a lot of 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 chiseling that happens. So I just encourage you guys to 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 be okay with going through stuff. You know, every count, every movement, um, every step counts. You know, um, and I think that that it's important to to be brave enough to. To walk through that and be authentic in that not everyone's rich <laughs> you know not everyone you know is is on the gram doing all these things that are being portrayed as as if they are you know i know i just know a lot of influencers and i, I know a lot of people who um i'm connected with and know in the real life you know <laughs> um that you would think by seeing their facebook's or seeing their in social media or whatever that they're on this like super high level of awesomeness and that they're living this whole fabulous rich life and that's not the case. I just want people to, to know that they're, they're human beings just like you, Beyonce, Rihanna, all that. Yes, they may be on a different financial status right now, but they weren't always like that, you know? And so even though I love Beyonce down, even though I love Rihanna down, they're so human. Just don't forget that. Don't forget, you know, to be in this constant state of, of acknowledgement that you're doing okay you know you're doing what you need to do you're on the right path and if you're not on the right path you'll know just make sure every count counts every every movement that you do like i was saying before you know i tell my dancers and my students that's what i'm talking about it's like right when i all of them all of this like four of them on the block like literally Four of them on the block, like just came out of nowhere. My God. And then this one, another one. And then the dogs. Oh my God, anyway. Whew, okay, so. um, I always tell my dancers, and I'm gonna kinda end it off on this, but like I told, said earlier, like I always tell my dancers that every count counts. That every movement that we do, fl that it flows into the next movement. So don't, don't, allow yourself to cheat take each movement and 
pushed through each movement and flow through each movement as it is and put your all into each movement i think that that's another thing of what i mean by every count counts because i think a lot of times you know we have these steps that we see these steps and these ways to get to our end goal we skip steps you know we you know or, or we, we do some steps half-ass because it's just it, it won't matter it's you know it's a small little step it'll be fine i just need to get to the end goal but every step matters <laughs> you know there's a reason why that step is even there and why that step is in place and so that's why i say every count counts every movement matters every step moving forward matters so do yourself a favor and just just be and just continue to grow and be awesome and be encouraged and so i hope that this blesses somebody today because this is really on my heart when i woke up this morning i didn't i don't normally <laughs> i didn't want to have preset things i know a lot from uh, for those who follow me and uh, you know the podcast and pyromedia um we have like set um things that we're going to talk about topic episodes and i wanted you know Kwame speaks to be something that was just kind of a vlog more of a a personal thing to where whatever comes in my spirit comes in my spirit and then there's going to be times where i just won't have anything and that's fine you know i don't want to ever be in a you know you know not authentic with you guys so um i do thank you guys for watching and supporting shameless plug <laughs> don't forget to check out you know some of the other shows on pyromedia network uh, by going to www.pyromedianetwork.com and um, checking out the shows. The Dante show is pretty awesome. With Love Zavi is dope. Um, we have the Robin Slim show. Uh, so many shows. Uh, Cold Sports. Uh, the Veteran Woman podcast is one of my faves. Um, this is awesomeness. Um, the, uh, Blaze Entertainment. Duh. <laughs> I'd Rather Not podcast just released. We just came back off of hiatus. Uh, Blaze Entertainment is coming up next week. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio with Miss Free. Doing some good things, shifting, feeling some good energy. You need that, that the hiatus break, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, hope you guys are doing well and stay blessed. And don't forget to create a great day. Have a good one, guys.